Welcome back to another video of Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. We need to change the name soon. They changed this completely. How it looked like before. I remember back in the previous episode, this was like a big text up there, but it wasn't lit at night. And that kept bothering me, to be honest. Okay, so just so you guys know, we have everything automated uh, in the store. Uh, whenever products is low, it will automatically purchase. Uh, whenever, obviously, we have also the level thing. So we're leveling up our workers. So we want them to do everything from the beginning to the end. Uh, because they will only get better and better the more they do. So at the end of the day, you just want them to do their work, do their job. And they will take care of the rest, if that makes sense. But overall... Um, unfortunately had to restart the game. I made a different YouTube channel and I just wanted to post a few videos there and see how well they do. And they all get zero views, not even slightly getting views. So um, we're going to just uh, spend the time a little bit to, to, you know, work our way back to where we were. I will never restart the game again. This is my final time. If we do ever have to restart for some reason, uh, I will just stop playing the game. Um, because this is, the, this is the third time now, I think maybe fourth, uh, that we are restarting the game. And as much as I do enjoy, I just, uh, want to get to the end content and see what that's about. Um, but yeah, we have everything automated. All we do right now is just chill, um, wait for our workers to get stronger and then we'll take it from there. I want to get more product licenses also. Uh, but it's actually going to be very expensive. It's like 650 just for the license. And everything needs to be in refrigerators. So that is, yeah, it's going to be expensive. But right now you can see our store is actually pretty busy. Because I think it's related to your level, your store level. Um, like how busy the store gets. It's It's related to nothing else, according to my knowledge at least. Dude, this guy just bought the shop, bro. What the heck? That's his monthly groceries right there. Maybe yearly. <laughs> it's okay. Leveling up my worker now to level 8. My stock taker is going to run soon, dude. But yeah, the biggest upgrade we can get is actually this store to be opened. So maybe we should just focus on that first. So storage, $1,200 for that. And I think it might even be worth taking out a loan for it. Bank will take out a loan. And we'll pay it off early once we can. Storage, double check that it is. So there we go. That door is open now and we can move this. It will be eventually in the middle of the floor. But at least now he has to walk a smaller distance, meaning that stuff will be faster on the shelf. Because this is the only worker we're going to have for a long time. And if, if we level up fast enough, then it will most probably be the only worker we have ever. But I don't think that's going to happen, though. I think we will we'll need another cashier. And we will need another... Another person putting a uh, stock on the shelf. So, but yeah, so far, having the automated system this early in the game, I think it's phenomenal. And now it's just uh, playing the profit game, you know, waiting for the profit to come to you. So, what are we using? What add ons are we using? So, first of all, we're using the uh, trainee program thingy mod. Which is, in my opinion, the only reason why I'm still playing the game. Um, that is phenomenal. It's, it's in my opinion, if, if I could just recommend one mod, it's this one. Uh, you're paying your employees higher wages for doing more. And you can see the guy right now at the back there is carrying two boxes at the same time. And that will just mean that he double racks and he's double the speed. Uh, he will also eventually get movement speed increases and... Yeah, where we ended our previous video, or the one before that, before this update, 
Uh, he was carrying about five boxes. The boxes was going up beyond the roof. And he was running. Literally running around in the store. Right now he's level 8. My dude was level 37. So it's a big difference, you know. Uh, but as they get better, you pay them higher wages. And uh, they just become supersonic, if that makes sense. So that's the first one. The second one we have is automatic lighting, as you just saw there. The lights automatically tur get turned on at 6 p.m. Uh, it's just a little quality for life mod. Or, or yeah, mod. Uh, then we have another mod, automatic pricing. So at the start of every day, uh, it will just check what the price is and it will, uh, it will just rough it up. It, it will... What, what do we call it? Round it upwards to the closest 25 cents. Uh, sometimes on a more expensive products, it will, it will do more than that. Um, it will not just take it higher, it will take it... Um, open shelf. It will, it will make it like 10% higher, then, uh, then it will do the 25 cents uh, percentage thing. Uh, rounding it up. Uh, then also we have, um, I don't know what it's called, automatic buying or something? Let me, let me just check what the name is of that mod. I'm all tabbing here, so. Dude, I have so much folders open. So we have disabled shelves, uh, which is really, really worth it in my opinion. Uh, so if I come here and I make this one red... I will tell the uh, racker, for example, do not rack this anymore. Like, even if it goes to zero. And I think if it does go to zero, it will automatically remove the label as well, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that one. Uh, then we have... Uh, automatic shopping cart is what it's called. So what will happen is, if your NPC or your worker takes off the final item, like you just said. You took off the final item from the rack. Uh, you can set your settings to do whatever you say. So, you just took out the f uh, red flower off, and we're automatically buying two of them. And then we also have the place delivery and storage mod, uh, which is called... Racks Auto. So you pay an extra $2 fee. You can see in the top right corner there. You pay an extra dollar per item, so since it's two items, it will be two dollars uh, fee, and it will, instead of the boxes laying outside, it will be automatically racked inside your storage. Uh, the reason why you use this mod is because uh, this leveling up mod sometimes breaks, if with boxes outside. He tries to pick it up the whole time, and uh, your, your character will just like stand here trying to pick up a box. So I use that mod for safety net for this one. Also, the automatic purchase mod also only counts in shelves, not boxes outside. So this this just makes it so that two mods don't break, if that makes sense. Then we're using, I already talked about the employee training program and then auto pricing. So I, I talked about all the mods we have enabled. And I think with all these mods, all at the same time, the game becomes self-playable. So I do nothing. All I do is open the store, which you can get a mod for that as well, that it will automatically open in the morning. <laughs> um, and then the game will play itself. And then I can use another mod to increase the speed. So we can make the game 4x the speed. And then, you know, everyone will work four times faster and stuff like that. So... But you can see some of the products is running really low, uh, but I'm not going to help our worker because I want him to gain as much experience as possible. For every box he throws away, you get two experience. So you want him to do everything from throwing away the box, from racking. You want him to do everything. Otherwise, it's not going to work as well. I know sometimes it's going to seem like, hey, it's uh, it, it's running really close, really low. And if it happens, it happens, you know. Uh, I don't care too much about people complaining that there's no item on the shelf yet. For me right now, it's all about farming the experience. 
so that we most probably can get away with only two workers late game. That for me is very important compared to com people complaining about early game, not stuff having, you know, having stuff on the shelf. But yeah, so far, you know, um, we're on day, what is this? It doesn't show anywhere. We're just like still early, okay? We're still early game. I think we're on day like 20 or something. If that high. And we're having pretty much everything automated already. That That's crazy. So obviously what, what we do then in the game is we're going to buy... You know, this is how I see it in real life as well, right? Let's say this happens in real life. We have another box outside. You never want a box outside, so we put it in a new spot. Just try and avoid glitches, if that makes sense. Um, so in real life, what will happen is you will start a store. And then you would run the store yourself until you can afford to uh, get an employee, right? That employee will become a cashier, for example. So that you can focus on other things, which is what? Stock taking uh, and stuff like that, which is then going to be your main job. Then you're going to get someone to do that for you also. So eventually, at some point in your career, like starting a shop like this, you won't even go to the store anymore. You won't have to go to the store. Right? Because the store will be self-manageable. Dude, our shelves are so empty. This is crazy now. I feel like helping, but I also feel like not at the same time. You got this, bro. You got this. Don't let your dreams be memes. You're putting down... Okay, that's two boxes. You'll see you'll get a 2 XP for a box throw away. So you just want him to just farm the XP, bro. Like, he will do fine. It might look a little rough on the edges now. But you can see also he's gonna get more XP. Um, yeah, just let him do his job, bro. Like, he'll be fine. He's programmed to also take the lowest number on the shelves. So he bought two different products. He has two boxes here. What's that? A cheese? Maybe eggs also? Wait, we, we four times bought cheese now? It doesn't really matter too much. It's just... You know, I need to learn how these programs work for it to remain automated. Well, we have no one complaining yet that there's no product, so... And look how low... Oh, there's our first guy, coffee. Yeah, there is no coffee. Do we have coffee? We do. It's just not racked. Hey, he's getting to it now. So now I'm curious. Did it buy again coffee? I, I'm actually not sure. Just for safety, we'll buy another coffee. Coffee, bro. There's coffee right now. There's two racks full of it. So we'll need we'll need to give this guy a minute um, to restock, re-rack. He's still not fast enough, so our other options are to buy experience to make him faster. Carrying more boxes. Like, he's, uh, he's almost there. Then we can upgrade him. Then he's no longer a rookie. But now I just think that this is the best we can do. 
And people need to take what they get. This is our worker right now, and, you know... I honestly don't know why we get so many clients in this game, like, and we're only at product level 2. Yes, I don't even have my tablet yet, dude. And we're getting this many people. And now they're complaining about the checkouts being full. Ugh. This game is gonna get to me soon, dude. Bro, there's good eggs right there behind you. Bread is empty. Ugh. Dude, you need to walk faster. Run, dude. I even opened the door for you. I paid $1,200 for this door to be open. We need to upgrade him. So we're going to pay him $100 now. So instead of $80 a day, it will be now be 100 People will just have to take what they get, bro. That, that's how I see it. Like, it's not gonna be ideal. And I wouldn't even complain if we get less clients because they're complaining that our shelves is empty. We're making money. And our workers is farming experience. And at the end of the day, like, they need to take what they get. Look at him, he's carrying three boxes, bro. Okay, products not found. Well, too bad, so sad, bro. My worker is, is starting to become very strong, okay? As long as no boxes is laying outside, we're doing good. Uh, how much coffee is here? That's 18. Just want to double check, make sure. Yeah, we don't have on the shelf. So even double buying on some of these products doesn't work. Well, that sucks. So there's still glitches gonna happen. Hmm. The only way this is gonna work then is if we can get them somehow to never grab two of the same boxes. Like, never grab the same box twice. Because what happens is, he picks up the box, right? There's 12 in the box, he picks up this box, then I buy two, and then he picks up the, the next two as well. And the mod hasn't read that he's going to use all those boxes uh, yet. So it, it just glitches out. So I don't know if we should just triple buy instead of double buy. Because that would solve the problem completely. Oh, one second. Okay. Dogs are done barking, I think, for now. They might start again later. And here they go again. Okay, I changed the mod now to triple buy instead of double buy. Maybe that will fix that glitch. Uh, we're gonna open up shop here. Let's see, we should get boxes outside again. Otherwise, we need to reload the game for that mod to work. Or that change to work. And if boxes laying outside, we have one, two, three, four. We have four open slots. So at least, yeah, we had some time to give him. 
There should be a box outside now. Okay, so it doesn't work. I need to reload the game. So we'll do that uh, after this day is done. Level 19. So his wage can also increase soon. Actually not. It can go way higher. I don't know how high it could go. Level 24 maybe? 26? And then his wage can increase. He's carrying four boxes now. And it begins, bro. Wait, didn't get experience for throwing away? So every box has like a hidden weight to it. So you can carry a certain weight. So stuff like salt, you can carry a lot of it, for example. Wait, what? Are you kidding me, dude? So that glitched out. It didn't auto buy. Yeah, dude, rice three. I have so much of it now. Once we figure out the system, it's going to be really fast, like how everything is going to work. And I'll just download a mod that says auto open, dude, and we'll be fine. Perfectly fine. Speed run this game all the way to where we were. <laughs> we were really far though. Like, oh my goodness, we were really far. Um, what do we sell? Uh, not market again. Uh, management, product licenses. We were selling, there's pizza, vodka, sugar powder, toilet, the new toilet paper. There's ham, chicken leg, uh, pulp, pulp, soda, coffee, medium roast, Mr. Bean, egg spock, green beans, ice cream. I think that's where we were. The product license, like in the middle of the screen. Green beans, ice cream vanilla, ice cream pizza, potato pops, and veggie mix. I think that's how deep we were in the game. Well, it's really unfortunate though. Well, we can purchase different... Where's my vape? Uh, different product licenses. I can buy the next one instead of the one before. Dude, that's crazy. I thought you had to go in sequence. I found my vape juice. Or my vape. <laughs> okay. So we don't have to go in sequence. We can buy whatever we want. As long as you reach the level. Are we going to buy the apple juice? 
We're gonna buy the... Uh, the apple juice and cola and stuff makes good money. We might... Uh, I don't know. We, we actually might need to get a second racker. Cashier, I think also we, we might need one. That's level 20, so nothing I can do until then. So it looks like he only gets XP by throwing away all boxes. I mean, he gets XP for taking it back also. Yeah, plus 2 XP. Yeah, our gardener came to feed the chickens. That's why the dog's barking like crazy. Just mute until they're done. Okay, it seems like they're done. Well, I guess not. Okay, we can just end the day here. We're setting on $2,000. I think we want to buy the next product, dude. Let's get the next product license. We'll buy it. So now... Oh, snap. I shouldn't have. This is not good. Okay, let's see here. We want to buy double fridge. Yeah, we shouldn't have, unless I take a loan. If we take a loan, then it's fine. Goodness, this place is going to look nasty, dude. Okay, can we buy one of each? Uh, we need to take out a loan. Damn it. Oh, I didn't even pay off the other one. Okay. Um, okay, so... Orange juice, soda. I just want to buy one of each.
the white thorax. So that's the green one. Apple. Wait. Are we dead? Okay, so then what didn't we put on the shelf then? Six pack milk. Let's see, we need more six pack milk. At some point. Ah, uh, I forgot we have this one open as well. But it's okay. Okay, I need to relog quickly so that we can actually... Wait, did, we do have apple, yeah? There's apple, yeah? So we triple buy instead of double buy. Yeah, let's save here and just restart the game. Okay. So we should just open the store here. We'll use this rack once we have to. We can get two more products and then we'll use them. So triple buy should be enabled now. So we will use a lot of racks. No racks at all. We can maybe even get another product license before you have to upgrade. I feel like that's taking a chance though. There's a six pack milk. We we need a full rack for that. Still see no boxes outside. Goodness, my buddy. Oh, we can upgrade our cashier. Oh, oh, no, no, we can't. Do we really have to? But I, I think we maybe don't have to. It has two spots, we can double stack. Do we have... We don't. So watch him triple take like pasta. Watch out. Did he? I think he just triple took it in. That's box one. Box two, yeah, you triple took it. So I think we have to buy again. So it's it's weird that how he, his AI works. Like, <clears throat> congrats, level twenty, bro. It would, it would, 
I th like, it, it, I don't know how to explain this. If he took it in Q, then he wouldn't have taken a triple pasta there. But he doesn't take it in Q, right? He, he takes it at that point. At that point. It's hard to explain. The, the best way, in my opinion, to fix this glitch is to make him that he has a Q system. But in all honesty, I think the triple box buy uh, would fix that issue also. We'll just have to have way more racks, but that's fine. We still have one open slot, and then we're gonna pop that one open. Just reach level 18. Look how fast it's working, bro. Love it. Now the shelves are so full. Do we have bread? Uh, we don't. Okay, there we go. So hopefully now everything is fixed. And... Do we have Turco? Yeah, it looks like it. 48. 16. Yeah, so yeah we definitely have more. It's funny how it grabs a box and there's instantly one in its place as well. Can't, be can't believe we're restarting the game. <laughs> Goodness, girl. I honestly hope you're single, because if you were my girl, walking like that in public, you would have two blue eyes, if you understand what I'm saying. You too, girl. Goodness. I can see my house from here. No boxes outside, that's perfect. Uh, let's early pay back the small loan. $2,000, we need early payoff is 2080. I kind of had to do that. We were really low on everything. That's what happens when you buy product licenses and you don't have enough money. You pay the price of a loan.
Dude. People are buying, like, absurd amounts of items. $91. Can't be true, bro. Thank you, Grandma. Products not found five? Really? Is it because he was slow, or...? I didn't notice, dude. Um, how much is this? 16. Oh. 24. 28. Do we have 28 breads or do we have more? We have 52 in total. Okay. Now the glitch shouldn't occur anymore. By triple shelving it. Unless our worker falls so far behind, he will take all three boxes to refill. Okay, we're gonna pay off the next loan early also. It's just quite the setback, to be honest. Let's check if we have sugar. Who is carrying three boxes already? Okay, sugar, we have 17. I don't know. Math. Yeah, we do have. Should be around 21 on the shelf. Level 15 already. The worker is catching up really quick to the uh, uh, to the cashier. Couldn't find soda, so, soda cola. Oh my goodness, that is true. I didn't buy it at all. Give me one back. Why is not prioritizing this? I want- oh my goodness. I want them to throw away the boxes. Because you get experience for it. We 
We have 142 cola soda. So I somewhere else have it stocked. It was just not in the store. It's okay, dude. We'll 4x stock it, it's fine. How much profit do we make? <laughs> How much profit do we need to make in order to pay back that loan? I think if we turn these ones, uh, I mean, this one fine, but this one can't. We actually can. Yeah, it's not my job to take care of the storage. So as long as he knows where everything is, like... My job is to get the system rolling. Level 21. Coffee's running really low again. Dude, why is it glitched? Maybe remove one rack. I don't know. We'll keep it as is for now. We need to solve this glitch so that it will become just fully automated. We can end the day here. Products not found was three. So next thing you should grab the coffee. I bought four coffees. He's taking three. Okay. Uh, the product products that wasn't found was um was the cola. And we have infinite of it now.
Level 16, congrats, bro. Ding, 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 ding. Our workers are becoming very efficient now. Look how fast he's racking, bro. Still no boxes outside. Every client is buying so many items, it's absolutely ridiculous. By the way, I spoke a bit to the guy that made the mod with the levels, the training, employee training program. He said he regrets making this mod. Because all other mod makers dislike him. Because there's so many people playing with this mod. And almost all mods is glitched with, uh, in contention with this mod. Not even to mention, you need to like redo so much stuff every time there's a new update out for the game. I I honestly believe at this point you should just like sell the code to the developer. And you can make it like, you know, you can either enable it or disable it. I honestly think if if you're a developer and there's a mod being used so much by so many people, like your job would be to try and like get that mod enabled on the base game. And just something stupid like automatic lighting, I mean... That to me is also a mod that has a lifetime way too long, in my opinion. It should have been removed by now by the, the developer himself. Pay something like, I don't know, $100 or something to have automatic lighting. To have a schedule. We're so low on pasta, I have a feeling that we don't have. So let's see if pasta is seven, yep. Is it carrying all four boxes now? He's not throwing away all boxes, are you? He is. 
So 10. It should be 34. We, we have 34 again. Why is it not picking it up? Uh, we should pay back our loan. It's like, it's skipping the pasta. What about sugar? We have, we have 20 sugar. Okay, we have sugar. So eventually these guys will be better at their job than you could be doing their job. That That's the thing. Four, eight, twelve. Okay, we have flower. Okay, we can end the day here. No boxes outside, we'll just instantly open. Level 22, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. We'll keep an eye out if something else glitches. If something glitches again, we'll we'll make it four. We'll buy four products every time we have to buy something. Something like coffee is four shelves, right? So it's four boxes. I mean, if you <laughs> if you're out of coffee completely, it would make sense. But we should never be completely out of coffee. Orange juice. That's uh, what, 32? Or 22? Yeah, we have enough.
And he's just falling a little bit a little bit behind his work. That's fine. Four boxes, dude. These guys are just buying like there's no tomorrow. We need product license three so I can actually use my gun instead of going to the PC the whole time. You should be deliver delivering red flower now. There we go. No boxes outside. Dude, he's carrying like five boxes there. <laughs> All of them are throwaways. That's insane, dude. Okay, sugar is running fairly low. We have 14. There's 38 in, in the whole store. Ugh, the queue is full again. I can't believe we need a second cashier already. We're still so early in the game, dude. Bro, don't you think it's time for sugar? Holy. We double bought. Yeah, we do need to get another rack for the six pack milks. Halfway to level 23. That's what I'm talking about. No boxes outside still. We need to check again. Pasta and, uh, and sugar. Pasta and sugar. It looks fine, dude. Sugar is 25. It yeah, just... I, I don't know. Like, he dislikes putting down sugar. I think it's because of the milk. 
Like he's highly prioritizing milk. Well, it's a good thing now. Do you think this guy works as fast as two soft checkouts? Combined. And it's still not fast enough. People still complaining about standing in a queue. Yeah, there's no way around this. We need another cashier. And I, I don't think this guy will be fast enough eventually. I don't think so. That was the last guy. Uh, do we just open? I think what we do is we buy an upgrade here for a section. I think we just get our second cashier, so we can start farming levels. Uh, hiring. Well, we need level 20. So we want the... Mirrored one. I'm going to put it here, but we're going to close it. Oh, no, we're not going to put it down. I'm just thinking, like, maybe we should put both cashiers there in a row. It might be too long. Yeah, it's gonna struggle by the entrance. It's not gonna work like that. Unless we turn it and face that way. Then it's gonna be awkward, right? Yeah, we already bought the mirror one anyway. So the mirrored one will just be like, you know, the other way. Do, 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 do. 
Do we have cereal, dude? Like that's a legitimate question. You definitely have cereal. So he grabbed olive oil, but we had so much of it. Yeah, I think just like one cashier is not enough. I think it will be the same for the Wrecker Boy. One is just not enough. Like, he's barely surviving. One more uh, product license and he's done for. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's like really fast at the moment. But it's still too slow to, to do the solo. So I have to get at least four employees, right? Two cashiers, two uh, stocker, stockiers, stockades. How much for the other stock taker? Level 22. Holy. Look how fast he's walking also. You sure you got enough boxes there, my friend? He threw away everything. That's crazy. So now I can carry the six-pack milk with another product in his hand. Before he couldn't. We're almost level 20. Level 23 cashier, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Look how fast he's going now. And it's 9 p.m. A 
FBI open up. Name your store, that's our next objective. Our next quest. Come here, sexy. Oh, let's look at night now. What? The name changed. It was a tiny name before. Goodness, the lights is... Ugh. Okay, product license. Do we... No, we don't. No, we do not. Do we do it like this for now? So we can min-max the amount of people we have in, in the store? I think we do. Another $80 a day down the drain. Well, it's going to be worth it soon, so whatever. Got a level one worker again. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He's gonna be so slow. Actually, it doesn't look too bad like that. Oh, we can actually... Okay. I don't see any change. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I love this one. I actually love this one. We're gonna take it. Oh wow, this looks so cool. Oh man.
Do you think that is $80 a day, bro? $80 a day, that, right there. I freaking love this entrance. And I assume once you upgrade it, you can change the position to like here. I don't know if it's a good idea because the trash can will be further away then. In theory, we should try and get the entrance right here. For maximum efficiency, you know what I'm saying? Dude, this looks so nice. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. That will be my thumbnail. <laughs> for this video. Look at this queue. What is this? Coffee again? Bro, coffee keeps glitching. gonna use all four coffees now all four boxes i just purchased so we'll buy four more and i i hope it just gets fixed Are you serious?
Okay, we're gonna end the day here. Products not found was three. Yeah, we only have a thousand dollars. We can't buy the next product license. Purchase paint and paint the walls. They want us to purchase eight. A thousand six. Oh, dude, are you freaking out of your mind? There's no way I'm doing that right now. Almost level 20. So, I think the next level, so 24, should be the ending for him. And then it's another wage increase. Yeah, that I think four workers will be more than perfect. Is that a car? No, it's not a car. I thought I saw a car. At our gate. That's not the case. Coffee better not be glitched again, dude. Maybe the developer of this mod just excluded coffee for some reason. This guy is doing the stock taking is so good. You got this, brother? He's a pro at it, bro. Dude, I just can't get over it. The doors look so cool. The only wall we can paint at the moment is this one right here. Because painting anything else, it's just gonna break later and it will be back to yellow.
Everything is looking good still. One more product license and we get our scanner. It's that would you call it? <laughs> yeah, I think two cashiers is a little overkill. It's fine when people were a cure. But it's okay. I think four workers will be perfect for even end game. We have to wait and see. Four leveled up workers. Yeah. Not just four workers. So I wondered if they just bought coffee, because I heard a, a, a ching ching noise. So about 31 coffee. We have 39. So we have a full box still. Do 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 do. Ba, 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 do. It seems like we're making some decent money now. I wonder when the developer will make your sign outside have like neon light. Why it's not the case, I'm not like I'm not sure. Okay, we're about to reach level twenty one. We can actually buy the next product license. I think, I think that's a good idea. Okay, let's see over here. Management, licenses. So it's yogurt, chocolate bar, cereal, candy, cake, and cake. So yogurt is in the, f the freezer, uh, the, the fridge, and everything else is on the shelf. Yeah, we'll buy it. Um, might have to take out a loan again, we'll see. Uh, so we need two shelves at the very least. And then we will also need a freezer, I think. A fridge, not a freezer. Goodness. Hmm.
Get the yogurt. We need to get... Uh, yeah, we need to take out a loan, unfortunately, again. So, bank loan. Uh, furniture. Did we just get one fridge? No. We'll get a double. That should be enough. Okay, we should be open. Another product license down and dusted. We have another fully open shelf here, which might be a good idea to put the milk there. If you can find the milk in the chaos. Found it. So I have to keep an eye out for stuff laying outside. Because then we'll need to buy another rack. Bro, dude. <laughs> oh, this place looks so nasty. Like... What in the world, dude? But it, it functions good enough. And at the end, that's all that, that's all that matters. Is your building functionable? So we need one more store level and then we can purchase the or hire the next employee. And that will be all the employees, hopefully until endgame. Congrats on level 24, my buddy. Look at him go. He's the Olympic cashier of some kind. By the way, every one experience, uh, you can actually buy the XP. It costs two, uh, $2 per one XP. So I can pay like $4,000 and get this guy leveled up. If we wanted to do, to do that. Um, let's pay back our loan. We have $91, bro. I'm a rich bitch. Couldn't find flour? 
It just added now, right? I think it did. Because we heard something by. And that should be four more flower now. So, 24 red flower. We're sitting on 32, yep. So I think the four, the, the three X purchase, sorry, uh, should be good enough. It is somewhat against the wall. Maybe we can make it... Take it more that way. We can't. You know, we should make this place... Look unfunctionable also. Turco soda. Is it because I picked up the most probably? Couldn't find rice. It, it got purchased now, though. Have we placed rice yet? No. There we go. Uh, just one second, it looks like the dog wants to go out. Okay, I'm back. Okay, we do have rice, bro. Wait, we have product license three now. We should be able to buy the scanner. Then we have product license five, bro. Okay, we could end the day here, right? Yeah, there's no clients here. A hundred and six, fifty one, twenty seven, thirty seven, twenty eight. So we don't have any of this.
34. That's a 26. We have 26 right here. Dude, I don't think we have enough cheese as well. 9, 18, yeah. We don't have cheese for some reason. It looks like we have milk. Definitely have that. Everything else looks okay. The sugar is not. Ten, twenty-two, thirty, thirty-four, forty-eight. 30, 34, 48. Yeah, so it's just us. Damn, we need another shelf. What? We don't have money? We need four hundred and seventy dollars, dude. Better not touch my sugar. What have we done? Why are we this broke now? Dude, he's just adding more and more to the buying list. Now we need 820. Do we just take a loan?
Are we still profitable? <laughs> Where did my money go? Oh yeah, we, did we not? Yeah, we did buy the product license recently. And it did try and restock everything, that's why we're broke. I forgot about it. Oh man, we missed it. They're just adding more. What do they add now? Another $80 extra. Okay, we can buy now. People still coming in? Listen, bitches. I don't got time for this. She could be lucky we're desperate for money. <laughs> wait. wait. Wait, wait, wait. We still don't have enough money? Dude. What is happening? Goodness, these products most probably is just very expensive. I don't know. I honestly don't know why we're this broke. We should be fine on all products, dude. Honestly. And if it's not, well, I mean, I'm trying my best, dude. We should still be way better off than most people. Having this automated. Maybe if we move the shelf a tiny tad. This one as well. We can then get most probably two fridges in here. Maybe that entrance is way too big now. Hey, 
heck? My blind dog just walked straight into my cabinet, dude. What the heck? Yeah, I think we can get another fridge here, but it might be better to have this entrance. Because, you know, it's faster, faster out of the shop. We can get the second racker, but I think it's completely unnecessary at the moment. I feel like this guy alone is doing a really good job. Just like I think with the cashier. I think we prematurely bought him. It's okay, we should never have a queue issue again. At least. I just wanted to get him leveled up, you know. We can make this place really ugly, but make it so functionable. I want it to look somewhat decent, right? Uh, let's go pay back that loan. Ugh. Money is... I don't know. Money is not with us in this playthrough. We had so much money. Our previous reset we had. But I think uh, the difference was uh, we had double self-checkouts. So you were just naturally making, at this point, 200 more dollars a day. Doesn't sound like much, but, you know, taking the course of 10 days, yeah, it adds up, dude. It's a product license right there, every 10 days. We might actually not level this guy up to pay him $20 a day extra. We'll only level up from now on forward if it's needed. Come on, bitches, buy everything. Everything I say. She's stealing. Mm. 
You sure you have enough boxes there, dude? It's it, it's beginning. The XP farming is now on. So this is level 9, and we're gonna stay on a level 9 for him. Speed is pretty good. $80 a day, yeah, I'll take it. And I think this guy will also remain level 24. Until we need it like cashier upgrades, we'll we'll keep it as is. Come on, dude. Buy your stuff. Let's go. There we go. Another day bites the dust. Total profit. 234. You see, we take a 750 loan and we pay back almost 900. We should honestly stop taking out loans. Rather triple, make sure that we are ready for the next uh, the next product license, than do what we're doing here. It's not working. Every anyway, guys, we're gonna actually end this video over here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.